U.S. President Donald Trump and Democratic contender Joe Biden held a socially distanced face-off in the first U.S. presidential debate of 2020 in Cleveland, Ohio. However, the event soon morphed into an ugly brawl, with each candidate expressing their contempt against the other. What was supposed to be an event that would sway the undecided voter here in the United States turned into a shouting match with interruptions and name-calling. How this debate will impact the presidential elections is an open question. We bring you our takeaway from the debate in Cleveland, Ohio. The first presidential debate was expected to be a brutal face-off between U.S. President Donald Trump and Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden. And so it was. Debate moderator Chris Wallace gave a fair chance and posed equally difficult questions to both the candidates. Sparks were flying and the debate turned chaotic as Trump attempted to cut Biden off at every opportunity he got. Will you shut who is up, man? Listen, who is on your list, Joe? This Who's is on your so list? Right. Gentlemen, this is, I think this we've is ended so this. He's going to pack the court. We have, end, oh, no, no. Give a list. we have ended this segment. We're the two to candidates to took the jibes the at each other and launched White personal White attacks. And by the way, what's that two with here? Biden calling Trump Putin's puppy, liar, racist, and the worst American president. And You're the, the worst way, president voice. America has ever had. A, a, Come a, a, on. Trump responded by dragging Joe Biden's son Hunter in the debate without mentioning his name. Trump bulldozed his way through the 90-minute debate and managed to get under Biden's skin. The two candidates skipped the customary handshake to adhere to social distancing guidelines at the event. Segment one was the Supreme Court row. Trump and Biden debated the issue of nomination of Justice Amy Coney Barrett to replace late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. We have a phenomenal nominee, respected by all. There's some of her biggest Endorsers are very liberal people from Notre Dame and other places. So I think she's going to be fantastic. The American people have a right to have a say in who the Supreme Court nominee is. And that say occurs when they vote for a United States senator and when they vote for the president of the United States. They're not going to get that chance now because we're in the middle of an election already. Open discussion. Open discussion. Yes, the debate right. got derailed from the assigned issue in the first five minutes. The debate shifted to Obamacare, a medical policy that Trump criticizes, but Biden wants to retain. The debate never came back to the issue at hand. And uh, the justice, and I have nothing, I'm not opposed to the justice, but she seems like a very fine person. But she's written before she went in the bench, which is her right, that she thinks that the Affordable Care Act is not constitutional. And there's 100 million people who have pre-existing conditions, and they'll be taken away as well. The 100 million people is totally wrong. I don't know where you got that number. The bigger problem that you have is that you're going to extinguish 180 million people with their private health care, that they're very That's happy with. Segment two, the coronavirus pandemic presented Joe Biden with an opportunity to take on Trump on the basis of facts and figures. You socialize medicine. The Democratic presidential nominee grilled Trump with some of the best punchlines. Yet again, Trump blamed it all on China. 200,000 dead. When he was presented with that number, he said it is what it is. Well, it is what it is because you are who you are. That's why it is. The president has no plan. You should get out of your bunker and get out of the sand trap and get in, in your golf course and go in the Oval Office and bring together the Democrats and Republicans and fund what needs to be done now to save lives. It's China's fault. It should have never happened. They stopped it from going in, but it was China's fault. The tanking of the U.S. economy in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic dominated much of the debate. Two candidates highlighted their differing plans to revitalize the economy. The debate quickly became a duel as Trump attacked Joe Biden's son, Hunter. My son did nothing wrong at Burisma. I think he did. Your first year. Wallace brought the controversial New York Times report on Trump's taxes to the table, one that Trump must have been anticipating and prepared for. Mr. President, I'm asking you a question. Will you tell us how much you paid in federal income taxes in 2016 and 2017? Millions of dollars. You paid millions of dollars? Millions in, of dollars, So yes. not 750. Millions of dollars, and you'll get to see I, it. I, and you'll get to when? see it. 
But let me just tell you, Chris, let me just say something that it was the tax laws. I don't want to pay tax. Before I came here, I was a private developer. I was a private business people. Like every other private person, unless they're stupid, they go through the laws and that's what it is. Yeah, I do want to respond. Look, the tax code that made him put him in a position that he pays less tax than a school teacher make on the money a school teacher makes is because of him take he says he's smart because he can take advantage of the tax code and he does take advantage of the tax code i, I hate to raise yes. my voice but I the next the segment the dealt with racial unrest Europe. that gripped so the united the states in the past few months trump and biden made pitches to win over black voters in the election ahead as trump pointed out the number of black lives lost during the pandemic trump interrupted and turned the debate to a crime bill passed in 1994 in which biden had a significant role to play when Wallace asked Trump if he condemned white supremacists, Trump said it was the left wing that created problems. This is a president who has used everything as a dog whistle to try to generate racist hatred, racist division. This is a man who, in fact, you talk about helping African Americans, one in 1,000 African Americans has been killed because of the coronavirus. And if he doesn't do something quickly, by the end of the year, one in 500 will have been killed. One in 500 African Americans. This man, this man is the, is the savior of African Americans. I did a crime bill, 1994, where you called them super predators, African Americans, the super predators, and they've never no, forgotten it. They've never forgotten it, Joe. No, no, sir, it's his two minutes. So you did that, and they called you a super predator. But are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups? Sure. Proud militia. boys, stand back and stand by, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left, because this is not a right-wing problem. His this is a left-wing problem. This is a left-wing problem. Less informative and more confrontational, the first big battle was an exhausting experience for voters and seemingly for the moderator. Joe Biden occasionally looked into the camera lens and appealed directly to American voters. Who do voters think won the first big presidential debate? A CBS News poll says that 48% of poll watchers favor Biden, 41% favor Donald Trump, and 10% think it was a tie. 83% of the debate watchers feel the tone of the debate was negative, and 17% think it was positive. 69% of debate watchers felt annoyed, 31% felt entertained, 19% were pessimistic, and only 17% were informed. If it's not me. The U.S. presidential election is a few weeks away, and the worst heat of battle has just begun. Will the first presidential debate affect the candidate's popularity? Will opinion poll charts show a different trend? We will be watching. U.S. Election Desk, we own. The world is one.